let's check how much degrees will the hour hand moves when the minute hand completes a 360 degree when minute hand completes its 360 degree the hour hand covers only 30 degree we know the angle between each 12 division is 30 degree that is in between 1 and 12 in between 1 and 2 in between 2 and 3 each divisions each 12 divisions is 30 degree also in between each number there are small 5 divisions in between 1 and 2 there is 30 degree we have 5 small divisions in between 1 and 2 so the small division is 30 by 5 30 by 5 is 6 degree so each small division is 6 degree how many such 6 degrees will be there there are 60 such 6 degrees will be in a clock you know there are 60 minutes 60 such 6 degrees so in one minute the minute hand covers 6 degree we know the hour hand is always moving with minute hand so in one minute also the hour hand is moving with the minute hand we have to know how much degrees will the hour hand moves when the minute hand covers one minute that is six degree when the minute hand covers six degree that is one minute how much degree will the hour hand moves we know in 360 degree the hour hand moves 30 degree only that is 1 by 12 part of 360 degree so in 6 degree the hour hand covers the hour hand covers 1 by 12 of 6 degree 1 by 12 of 6 degree that is 6 by 12 that is 1 by 2 which means 0.5 degree that is when the minute hand covers 6 degree the hour hand covers 0.5 degree so in one minute the minute hand covers 6 degree and the hour hand covers 0.5 degree now let's go through some examples to finding out the angles in clock Here we are discussing three different methods to finding out the angle of given time here the given time is 9 30 9 so 30 let's discuss the first method method one we all know the our hand also moving with the same proportion of the minute hand minute hand covers the half of the circle the hour hand covered the half of 30 degree the minute hand position is now at 6 we know 6 is the half of the 12 so the hour hand also will be at the midpoint of 9 and 10 that is half of 30 degree half of 30 degree is 30 by 2 is equal to 15 so, degree here 
the angle is 15 degree here we know there are three equal parts each part is 30 degree so 3 into 30 3 into 30 90 degree adding this 15 degree to this 90 degree we get 105 degree now let's discuss the second method at the time 9 30 the minute hand is at the position 30 we know in one minute the hour hand covers 0.5 degree in one minute the hour hand covers 0.5 degree so when the minute hand covers 30 degree the hour hand covers 30 into 0.5 30 into 30 into 0.5 which means 30 into half 30 by 2 is 15 degree in between 9 and 6 there are 3 equal parts so 3 times 30 degree 3 into 30 90 degree adding this 90 degree to this 15 degree so 15 plus 90 15 plus 90 105 degree Taking the next example, 220. Let's discuss the first method, method 1. There are two equal parts in between 2 and the four. minute hand is now at 4. We know 4 is 1 by 3 of 12 that is when we divide this in three equal parts that is the first part 12 to 4 the second part 4 to 8 the third part 8 to 12 that is when we take this as three equal parts 12 to 4 is the 1 by 3 part of the circle. So, the hour hand is also at the one third position of 30 degree. That is 1 by 3 of 30 degree. 1 by 3 of 30 means 30 by 3 which is equal to 10 degree that is the our hand moves 10 degree after 2 that is the our hand covered 10 degree from this position so the angle is 2 into 30 60 and subtract this 10 degree from that 60 degree that is 60 minus 10 50 degree then you will have a doubt in the previous question the we added the both degrees and here in this case we take 
the difference the reason for that in the both questions the cases are different in the first question that is in the case of 9:30 the minute hand position comes first the minute hand positions comes first that is the angle enlarges here the angle enlarges from here to here yes here in this second question the our hand positions comes first the our hand positions comes first that is the angle reduces here to here the angle reduces that is here in this second question the minute hand and hour hand comes closer that is the angle reduces Now, let's discuss the method 2 the time is now 220 the minute hand position is now what 20 in 1 minute the hour hand covers 0.5 degree so in 20 minute the hour hand covers 20 into 0.5 20 into 0.5 means 20 by 2 10 degree so this is 2 times 30 degree that is 60 degree this is 10 degree so subtract this 10 degree from this 60 degree we gets 50 degree Let's take one more example. Taking three ten. Let's discuss the first method. One thirty degree in between two and three. Minute hand is now at the position two. We know two is one by six of twelve. Two is One by six of twelve. So the hour hand also will be at one by sixth part of thirty degree. That is one by six of thirty degree means one by six into thirty. That is thirty by six is five degree. So the hour hand moves five degree. from here so the angle enlarges here because the minute hand comes first here so the angle is 30 degree plus 5 degree that is 35 degree now the second method time is 310 in 1 minute we know in 1 minute the our hand covers 0.5 degree that is in 10 minutes the our hand covers 10 into 0.5 that is 10 by 2 is 5 degree so here we gets 5 degree from here and this is 30 degree add this 5 degree to This thirty degree we get thirty five degree. 